everybody and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build video today. We are doing my first ever custom content build. Because I saw the um, cottage, yeah the cottage garden stuff pack um, that the um, Plumbob Tea Society did and I fell in love and I had to have it. Um, it may not stay in my game, just so I'm not tempted to use the items. I do, I want to have most of my builds accessible for people to play and stuff. I, I can always see myself being tempted to use your item here and there. So, I'll probably take it out after, you know. I might do one or two more builds with it, but that'll be it. But yeah, this build went through so many colours, it's untrue. Also, it's a lot faster than what I normally have my smoke builds at. I normally have them at times 8 speed. This, Caden will use a times 10. <coughs> but this one here is a times 12, because times 10 wasn't quite enough. Because the actual building and landscaping of this took me like 2 hours. And then the furnishing was like another hour and a half. So, yeah, it was a quite a long build. Not my longest, but then the longer ones I tend to do in two parts. But this one, you know, just about suits a one part build video. And I kind of want to get away from doing two part build videos. I kind of feel like having them all in one video it makes the most sense. So it's what we did. But I love this wisteria. I love it. It's what I've wanted in the game for so long. Having like ploppable and different styles of little bits so you can add them together on your walls. So what the game needs. I'm really hoping that some of this pack will inspire some objects for the actual game. And so we'll get some cool stuff coming in. I really doubt it though. I love these little wooden things. They are so cute. But Okay, I wish there was like a little one one. Just a single one so you can add like little bits and pieces. But there we go. It's probably taking them months to do this, so I'm happy with it. It's adorable. And I'm gonna use it in a few more builds. We'll do maybe do a small cottage next. And then maybe a starter cottage using it. Because why not? But I love it. We, we go a little mad with flowers, I've got to say, in this build, but I think it looks really cool in the end. Well, of course we're getting mad with flowers. We have lots of plants. We're a farmhouse. So we're just laying out like the boundaries of what would be the field. Well, the fields. Because, you know, you don't want anything too big for Sims. But you still want to have a decent size. This is uh, on a 64 by 64 lot, I believe. And it does use pretty much the whole lot. So it will have to be on a 64 lot. The hardest thing I had was with some of the like, empty space to the sides of the lot. To the front. I was like, hmm, let's see if we can match it in with what we've got already. But then that also doesn't quite work. So... It changes quite a lot. We go through lots of ideas, we brainstorm it, and I don't take out these bits because I think it's important to show the process of how we got to the bits that we got to in the game. Like all of this gets removed because it's no good. No good! I wanted a little barn, but no good. Can't have stairs in a diagonal. I didn't realise this. But apparently that's not something you can do. So, and then I was like, how am I going to get this to look good with some stairs? Oh, we'll just add some straight bits in. Still, no, this, this roof on this is just hideous. I mean, what was I thinking? No, it's a big no-go. Diagonal roofs to straight roofs is like the worst bit to do. I mean, you can vaguely get something looking good, but... I struggle so bad trying to get some decent roofs on those bits. So in the end we just have this little, that probably was once a barn, now we're turned into a little like granny annex house. 
So if you have guests over, they can have their own personal space and not invade in your life. Or you can have like your parents or grandparents live there if they need some like support and stuff in their life but they also still want their own space. It's the idea of that kind of thing. And again, lots and lots of these bushes. I thought the purple colour looked really good. And we have a little pond. Now this build was like done when I was super sleep deprived. I was like, well not sleep deprived, I just wasn't tired. So I was like, oh you know what, we'll do some late night building. So most of this build was late night build. The whole of the building process and most of the landscaping were done one night and then the rest of it was streamed. Like, yeah, on Monday? Yes. I streamed on Monday. If you want to see my Twitch or to follow me so you can watch my builds live, the uh, link will be in the description down below and it's also on my new little end cards. There won't be a link to it, but you can see it. It's the same name as it is here. It's the same name I use for everything. Twitter, Instagram, all of that. All use the same username. Probably on other things too, but you don't need to know that. I mean, you can probably search Weenie really Beanie and find accounts to many things. Most of them are probably mine. Not all of them though, because some people do use my username. But, there we go. Um, but yeah, so... This bit worked really well. Having the birch trees and making some of them big. Yeah. Because it kind of continues the little foresty feel that uh, go over there and then we add like a little kids playground in and I like it. Have a nice little pirate ship in there so you can get loads of motor skills and everything like that for your kids. And you have a cool little footpath in front of it. Now these trees do not stay. Mostly because they're just a bit too big and in the way and they block the front of the house. And that makes, you know, screenshots and the gallery pictures, you know, a bit challenging. This will be on the gallery. The only thing you need to download to get it to work is the stuff pack. The um, cottage garden stuff pack. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. So you will be able to use this lot yourself. Now I suck at terrain painting. I really do. It ends up looking alright. Gotta say. It does look like it's you know, slightly warm grass by the feet. And you know, riding in like little farm fields and everything like that ends up being very cute. Very cute and adorable. I do like a lot of this. Some of the, I should have used the round thing on all of it I think. Not the square one. Because it did end up leaving some nasty marks and everything and the round one seems to be easier to use. When you watch this. And you know, it looks really good that. And over here we use um by debug to put in some apple trees. So I don't think they'll be in the gallery version of the lot. But you can easily do it yourself with the um the show Oh dear, sorry. The show hint objects cheat. That will get you up that menu and then you just type debug in there in your search box and then you can find some apple trees and stuff like that. So yeah, I should have used the round one because this leaf is looking a little bit messy. We do tidy it up later on, but it still looks a little bit messy. So we're just laying out the rooms. So they're quite basic little layout. Really, I think we end up with what four bedroom house with like four bathrooms. So it's a quite a nicely proportioned house. Plus, there's a little loft room that could become a bedroom. Or, well actually it's a five bed house when you count the little granny annex in. So we're getting into the stuff that I now live streamed. So yeah, if you watch a live stream you have already seen this. Or if you just popped in, that's fine too. You'd have seen bits of this. I saw it was very boring, you know. That bit like took probably ten minutes to sort out all that ground. So you know, watching live streams with builds is a little tedious at times because it, there's just so much to do in a build. 
And also, I hope you're enjoying listening to The Sims 1 build and buy music because I was like, you know what? This is what we need. It's quite a long build video. Let's have some cool retro music. And I really struggled to find the right shade of green in that room. You'll see later on. But we really struggle. Now, because this is only a small little house, it doesn't quite need as big of a kitchen or dining space or stuff like that because if you had guests staying here and they were like your friends, you'd invite them over to have dinner around your house, wouldn't you? Yeah, so I struggled to find the right shade of green and then curtains were another bother to find the right ones. We just go with the ones that came with parenthood because, you know, it ends up looking quite nice. It's a bit cramped, a bit cluttered, but it's a very cute little room. This is like one of my favourite rooms in the whole build. This one and the main kitchen, I think, are my favourites. And I quite like the study too. I mean, I don't think I took the best screenshot of the study, but it does look good when you actually look at it. But so many of these cute little clutter items are so cute. They came with the pack, and I'm just like, oh, I want to use them all, but I just don't know where I'd put them. So yeah, and then we have that nice little rug too. Now, if my computer was better, I would probably use custom content a lot more. Because it's one of those things, once you start downloading, it's very hard to stop. But I am thinking of taking it out. It's just... One of those things, I want to be able to make accessible builds. And it's just one of the things that makes it harder for people to use the builds that you put in. So, I probably will take it out. We will do a few more builds. But, it is so cute. And it fits, like, my aesthetic quite nicely. I might be tempted to get a few more items that go with the pack. More than anything else. And then have a bit of fun with it like that. So yeah. Moving on to the main house. So we did the whole of the small house. And then we're going to move on to this big house. The big house takes quite a while. I really struggled to find the colours and stuff that I wanted to use. And how I wanted it to look. It ends up being quite neutral with pops of colour here and there. Which I like. It's kind of how I want my own home to be. You know, neutral, but with nice little bits of colour here and there. It's, I think that's very handy. Also, didn't realise how pathetic that little light was. I like it for a shape, but it is a, such a pathetic light. Some of the lights in this game really are so like weak. They show no light at all. But there we go. Now the kitchen is the lovely parenthood kitchen counters and cabinets. I wish we had more counters and cabinets in this game. And I think there's a few that I'm missing but I don't think there's many. Because I know there's a cool kitchen that came with one. But I'm not sure what other ones have come with them in the past. I bet Get to Work came with one too. I hope it did. But we'll just have to see. Okay. So, study I love. It is a proper functional little study. You know, you can paint, you can play chess, you can read a book. And then we go through it and put so many of these little paintings up on the wall. Because you can imagine that, that someone in there would have painted them. And then they're up on the wall. So it looks good. Now, we're working on a formal living space. Well, not formal living space. Yeah, a formal living room. So it's not the one where you have your TV. It's the one where you take your guests. 
so you can read a book or talk about the, the news and stuff like that. Say posh, very over the top. But I actually really like how it ended up with these little um, the little tables that we use there that fit in nicely so it all looks nicely and built. Yeah, they, they were a good, good idea. I wish there was like more pictures and stuff to go on them so it would actually like a family room but yeah. I really wanted to make this room colourful but it didn't really work out. I was trying to find a nice matching one but... And then I struggled again to find the shade of green that I wanted. The shades of green seem to be slightly off in this game compared to the furniture. But there we go. The, yeah, the, the main living space is pretty basic, but it's functional. And then we have a nice little kids room over here too. Nice playroom that the doll's house has been broken like already I think three times. In the time it took me to take screenshots and maybe play a day's worth of the house. Yeah, crazy. They just don't like that doll's house. One of the kids broke it one day and then the dad's broken it another. I mean, what the hell? I think maybe we only broke it twice, but yeah. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, so all the bathrooms are very, you know, simple bathrooms. Functional is what we'll say. They've got showers, they've got baths, they're, they're nice. So the parents room ends up using a lot of blue and a lot of stuff from the um, vintage glamour stuff pack because you know I love that stuff pack. It was like one of the first main things I have actually really wanted in the game. Now it's pets. When that comes out I'm looking forward to pets. But yeah until then vintage glamour was the stuff pack that they announced that I actually wanted. I'm probably going to get laundry stuff, kind of, you know. Though it feels a bit of a waste of a pack, but adds a little bit of realism to the game, doesn't it? Having to do some laundry. Okay. I was going to try and do a boat, like, kids themed room, but there's no beds to match that. So it ends up being a nice dinosaur one with like mud coloured carpet and everything. It's really quite cool. I actually really like the kids room. Ended up looking like a proper kids room. Now I hope they can use some of the stuff that I put that clutter under. So I was assuming because it was cluttered that it wouldn't like affect much, but I don't know. Haven't really messed with it too much. You can use the beds in that room because everybody has used their bed. It has been pretty play tested. Plus, I played it like a day and a bit worth of the house, so it's all good. Pretty much all works. Yeah, teenage room looks pretty nice. And then up here in this loft room, it's like, well, yeah, the attic room is basically a loft for storage. And you know what? It's very true to what it would be. And here we're having like a little potting shed added in because you know I thought hang on we probably need one also touches the house so looks like it's supported by the house a little bit adding in lots of these cool little bits and pieces that make it look more like a shed so many plant pots and I probably should not have put that watering can in there because it actually does squirt water but that's fine it's all good. So we are coming up to the final stretch now. I'm just adding in a few finishing touches and we're done into the screenshots. So this one has quite a lot of screenshots because it's quite a large bill. So I hope you enjoyed the screenshots and I hope you've enjoyed watching this speed build video. If you have, please give this video a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.